real ass woman and I like it, I don't wanna fight it got my boxy charm in the mail a couple days ago i haven't had a chance to film it but here i am um this is the box for the month of may i know it's already like halfway through may and i just got it like a few days ago i got it kind of late this month so this box actually comes with six items because it is boxy charms birthday month the first thing in this box is the cover effects blurring primer um i've never tried this this says a blurring primer that instantly minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines to create a super smooth flawless airbrushed look so it has like color, it's not white. And it feels pretty silicone-y. My skin looks about the same, so we'll see how my foundation looks on top of it. But for now it looks like any regular primer. Okay, so after the primer I went ahead and applied foundation, my eyebrows, my concealer, my setting powder, all of that. It all looks like it went on smoothly. I don't see a huge difference yet, so we'll see. So the next thing in this box is this little thing here. This is from Pure Cosmetics. We see a lot of Pure in Boxy Charm boxes. And, and it's also pricey, so I don't tend to buy that on my own. So I appreciate it being in the box. So it was taped on the sides like the other palette was last time. And I tried to open it and I literally stabbed it. And then I stepped it again. Ooh, this is pretty. It just has two contour shades and two highlight shades. And I don't really contour, so I would use them as bronzers. But they are too dark and too cool tone to use the bronzers. I think I'm going to use them on my eyes instead. The highlights do look pretty. I feel like those could work for me. So I'm going to try those out. But the contour shades, I'm going to go into my eyes instead. So I'm going to go into this shade right here. This is called Inventor. Well, two of the products are actually brushes from the same brand. These are from Aesthetica. So this is the first one. This is a face brush. This retails for $27. I don't know if I should use this for bronzer or if I should use it for blush. And then the other set of brushes is this one, which is also from Aesthetica. And this three-piece eye trio retails for $45. So these are the brushes. I've never heard of this brand, but the handles feel really nice. So it comes with these three brushes. I'm used to like a little bit more of a denser brush. This feels really fluffy. What the hell? What is going on? Do you guys see that? This side just looks crazy. What the heck? So I'm going to use the highlight in the palette. I'm going to use this shade right here called Trailblazer. I don't know what happened to my brush. <laughs> the fact that I'm breaking out right here is making it like really annoying to apply highlight right now. So the next item in the box is this pretty vulgar liner. This is the ink gel liner. This retails for $24. The packaging on this is so cute. It's so cute. And then just, it's just a black liner in there. I'm going to use one of the brushes. Actually, I can use both of them. I'm going to use this one first, the little pointy one. Okay, so off the bat, it goes on really easily. I'm not a fan of those eyeliners that you have to like struggle to put them on your eye. But I feel like I don't have too much control of this brush. I think it's too flimsy. I feel like that's what it is. And I'm trying to get like a good line going and it just kind of like goes everywhere. So it's definitely not the eyeliner, it's the brush. I guess that's good enough. Let's go to the wing. I 
Okay, so there's one eye. Now I'm gonna go into the other brush and try the other eye. This brush. This brush is so bad. What the? This brush is not okay. I was trying to make it thin and now my eyes don't match because this brush is so thick. I'm a little upset because I hate eyeliner so much and this made it easy. This made it the worst thing in my life. So let's just move on to the last product in the box. This is the Beauty Creations um, Matte Lip Gloss. Matte Lip Gloss. Matte Lip Gloss. Um, I think this is a collab with like Pocket Charm because they're name is on the box this is the shade sweetheart which is this color right here this retails for ten dollars and this smells so good there's something on the look do you see it i think it's part of the brush what is going on with this box It's really pink. Oh my god, my eyeliner's driving me crazy. <laughs> so the formula is really thin. Mm. I'm letting it dry down. While the lipstick is drying, I'm trying to get off this eyeliner. It's still a little bit wet. Okay, so I took that eyeliner off. I did it with a small brush. We're all good. Um, so, and that's it for this box. This is the Poxy Bash box. And the Pure Sculptor Palette that retailed for $30. This is getting really dirty really fast. Um, the eyeliner is just a mess. Um, I used the shade on my eye and then I used one on my highlight. You can see it on my nose the most. So those are the four shades. See the highlights are really subtle and then the two um, contour shades actually don't look that intimidating on my hand the next thing was the 38 dollar primer everything got dirty with the eyeliner that i just took off i wouldn't pay 38 dollars for it that's how i feel about that the next thing is this pretty vulgar eyeliner which i think i didn't tell you guys maybe i did it was 24 dollars. i really liked this i don't like eyeliner i'm not an eyeliner person i suck at eyeliner but i think this formula was really easy to use I think this formula was really creamy. When I was trying to take off the <laughs> messed up, the completely messed up eyeliner off this eye, um, it took a little bit like of time to take it off. So it feels like it might be, yeah, it's water resistant. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so it took a little bit more effort to take it off, which means it's going to stay in place all day. That's a good thing. And it's cute. I like it's cute. The next thing is the eye brush trio. This is really tough. I tried to take off that. Do you see that little piece right there of eyeliner? You, you know how usually like once it dries off, you can just kind of scratch it off with the spoolie. Well, this spoolie hurt the fuck out of my eye. <laughs> this one I liked. The only problem is that I don't know if you can see if I get like close enough. If you can see like the hair sticking out, like it just gets really like out of place really quickly. But this was way easier to apply eyeliner instead of this one this one was horrible this is just so thick and it was not a good look on my eyes but for 45 dollars i don't think so this one i mean i look really subtle i just i prefer denser brushes if you're one of those people that like fluffy face brushes you might like this but it wasn't my favorite especially not for 27 dollars the last thing was this lipstick I think this shade is a little bit too pink for me, but it's not drying, which I appreciate. It says matte lip gloss, so I don't know if it's supposed to look matte or if it's supposed to look glossy. It kind of does a good job of being kind of in the middle. Um, I don't like that it's still kind of sticky. It's been like 20 minutes since I applied it and it's still sticky. Overall, this wasn't my favorite box. I think the only thing that I liked was the eyeliner but everything else was just kind of like 
it's kind of sad to say actually i don't think i've ever been so underwhelmed with a box it wasn't my intent when i started filming the video obviously um i thought i was gonna like it hopefully next month is better um i haven't seen any sneak peeks for next month yet thanks for watching till the end though <laughs> um i will see you guys next time bye